You know, in 2018, when a standalone Joker movie was announced, I, like many others, was compelled to ask... Okay, but why though? So it's funny that with the release of the trailer for the second movie, I found myself, again, asking... You know what, but why though? Like, it, it don't make no sense. Now, the first Joker movie ultimately turned out okay, for the most part. It was a compelling and entertaining character study. Sure, there was really no connection to the Joker, or anything from the DC for that matter. I mean, honestly, it could have been called Bozo the Clown, and nothing would have changed story-wise. However, I don't think that's going to be the case for this movie. Because to answer my previous question of Why though, son? You only need to wiki the box office returns. I just made more money than I know what to do with. <laughs> That's right. The first movie turned $55 million into a billion dollars. That's the reason this movie was made. And from what I've seen, I don't think this movie is going to be good at all. It has all the hallmarks of a cheap, soulless cash grab. Like adding Harley Quinn, because everyone loves Harley, right? Well, we gotta have her in this movie. And let's make Lady Gaga play her, because we need some star pull here. And we all loved the other movie she was in, right? The, um, uh, what's it? Whatever the fuck it's called, uh... The one with Bradley Cooper, you know. And remember when Joaquin did that funny dance on the stairs? We did it again, see? And remember when he smeared his blood into a happy face? We got that too, see? All the stuff you loved from the first one is also in this one. They're really diggle dangling those keys for you, you dumb monkeys. It's all just gross. But I think the worst part of making the second movie is that it completely ruins the ending of the first one. One of the best parts of the ending was not knowing if anything you just watched was real or not. The whole movie is Arthur telling his story in a mental ward. And as he goes through his story, you start to realize that certain things did not happen the way they are depicted all culminating at the end where you really have no idea what actually happened or if any of it happened at all, which made it such a good, compelling ending. But now, thanks to Joker, Follet, 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 du fromage. <laughs> Follet à du. We now know that it all really happened. And it just cheapens the whole thing. Ugh. So unless I hear otherwise from people I trust, it's gonna be a hard pass for me seeing this one in theaters. I'd rather take my chance on that weird Mel Gibson movie. Have you seen that? Have you seen the trailer for that? It's really odd. Not in a bad way, but not necessarily in a good way either. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, Thanks for popping by. You can leave now.